Um, hi again, everyone. I guess for exactly five minutes with the timer. Um, and now we're ready to hear from our three um, speakers who will each give a short presentation. Um, the kind of very rough, broad theme for this particular meetup is sort of hacking and extending Hydra. And um, each of these three people have done that in, in slightly different ways. Um, and I'm so excited to hear from all of them. Um, and so first we'll start out with uh, Dorian or Rex Malebka. <laughs> Hi. I don't know how you pronounce your artist name actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hi. Okay, uh, so I share, my, share my screen. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, and we'll do, um, so we have 15 minutes in total for each speaker, but um, it could be 10 minutes or so of talk and then five minutes of um, questions, or you could go a little over with, go further with the talk and have no questions if you want, um, it's up to you. Okay, so there are 15 minutes in total. Yeah, 15 minutes in total. Okay, I could go with 10 minutes and five of questions. Let me put my timer. All right, uh, do I start? Yeah, go ahead. All right, uh, okay, I'm gonna present Hydra plus 3AS. It is for Dragger made up. You can find me like Rex Malepka on the internet. And, and just a little bit about me. I'm a programmer. I'm working with 3D virtual spaces for art and performance uh, and live coding experiences. Uh, something like the one in the image. Uh, I work alone. Uh, oh, sorry. Can you see my screen? You didn't ask that before. Yeah, we can yes. see it. It looks great. Okay. Uh, I work along with Rania Lab. And I, I, I was helping them to develop a, a framework that allows multiplayer performances uh, called Panorama, some like the one in the image. And oh, sorry, I was overlapping. Okay, is it okay right now? Yeah, it looks great now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, uh, um, okay, what is 3AS? 3AS is basically a cross-browser JavaScript library that generates 3D computer graphics using WebGL, something like this. Uh, there is a page of examples that what you can do with 3AS. Uh, for example, this is one of that examples. You can find a lot of examples of 3D using 3AS. It's quite funny. And then my experiments using Hydra and AS. Uh, first, Hydra render via video streaming in a virtual space. This is not this is not new. This is all, this is something like uh, like a streaming video of your Hydra visuals. But I I just wanna to see how it looks in a non-planar geometry. So we have a concert called Pruebas Propheticas. And we were using three-dimensional deformations as visual techniques. It's something like this, looks something like this. Then we have a 3D mesh with Hydra texture, but the texture is just a Hydra video. We have Hydra render inside 3AS, like another concert that we made, Contemplación del Fin del Mundo. We were using actually native hydro code and we were using canvas as texture on a 3AS material. And it looks something like the one in the image and something like this. Uh, we have um, a 3D, a giant 3D mesh that has hydra, hydra visuals. And this is just plain code. We were not using videos at all. We were using a uh, Hydra code that we can change at the time. It, it looks something like this. Uh, it was quite simple. Create a new canvas, uh, create a new Hydra object, object, create a Hydra texture on 3AS, 
and evaluate uh, Hydra Commons and just another a 3D mesh with Hydra Texture. This is all 3IS um, functions. Um, this is Hydra functions. And we were sharing uh, the canvas texture between both frameworks. And that's quite Hydra on 3IS. Uh, there were a, a person called Gaba Aweu that actually made a virtual gallery for for Hydra using 3IS. Uh, I don't have its code, but you can find find it on YouTube like this, like this. It's quite funny and quite interesting. And fan Hydra on 3IS. This is like my, the last thing I was working. I made a repo I haven't updated because I made some changes like this week. I have all the files that you can put on your Hydra to get this working. It looks something like the, this one. And we were using it uh, in the opposite way. We were using uh, 3AS Canvas as high resource. And this really looks, it's a little bit blurry. Uh, it looks something like this. We have a mesh uh, being modulated by Hydra, a 3AS mesh. I think I have a better video, right? Okay. Uh, yes, something like this. We have three, 3D meshes made with 3AS. We can actually live code that. We can change its properties, position, rotation, and also we can modulate this via Hydra, just like this. And what about the, oh. okay, and new experiences, 3 yes yeah, could actually add some speciality on, on uh, like we were talking about 3D meshes, we could, this could add some shape to Hydra, uh, as we were talking as mass and energy, for example. And 3 yes could add some movements like translation, rotation, scaling, um, modifying the shapes of some meshes. This could be quite interesting. And well, at the future, the, in the future, uh, I would like to improve the rendering to Hydra. Uh, I would like to set desk web VL from Hydra, and I want to add more examples. And right now, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share Adam. Okay, can you still see my screen? Yes. Okay. The code looks something like this. In Atom, you can toggle Hydra, and we can start with Instance TA, Instantiated Tree plugin. And in this plugin, we have an a scene, a camera, a render, and a GLTF loader. We can create an, an actual 3GIS mesh in this, and we can use the Hydra sources for this. And we can, output, of course, output these output this sources. And we can also modify the mesh properties. We can, we can even add more complex meshes. This is a 3GIS mesh from a torus knot geometry with a fung material that has some lighting. We could, we could even add some movements on the man that looks something like this. This could add some texture to Hydra. And we can even have more meshes. Here we have uh, 10 meshes that are a sphere geometry and has mesh fung materials. We could even make some more modifications on the meshes, on the spheres. 
we can even move like the camera of this. Like this is just playing 3AS objects. But what about Hydra? We could of we can of course use Hydra to modify these visuals. This is like the plane source. And we could add some textures using 3AS objects. And currently this does not work on Atom because of some restrictions with files. But uh, I was using Hydra standalone version that is on Olivia repos that can actually do this job. I want to show you. Okay, again, I'm going to instantiate this. I'm going to sort this, this. I'm going to add a custom GLTF. I hope this works. Okay, it works. And we could we could add custom GLB object, 3D, 3, 3D objects from something like Blender, something like Maya, I don't know, some 3D software that could actually render uh, 3D objects. And we could use it with 3AS and of course with Hydra. And that's all for me. I think my time is done for my presentation. Do you have some questions of some, or some recommendation or something like that, some comments? Well, wow, that was so amazing. I had seen little bits and pieces of this, but I hadn't seen um, all of these, all of the different things that you've done so far. It was really amazing. Um, I, I'm sure someone's gonna ask, uh, which is, how can, uh, is there a repo for some of these things? And is the Atom extension, is it, did you change the extension or did you add something to the Atom extension? Oh, I actually add something to, uh, it's for Hydra plugin, Hydra package on Atom. I just made a subfolder and move, move everything there. It's, it's still not so complete. I still have some lags on the Hydra part. So, sorry, on the Atom part. This is my repo. Uh, I'm gonna update it like today. And yes, so it's just a file on, on Atom on your package from Atom. Ah, cool. And the um, online venue, is that something that is still open or do you have plans to further um, keep keep having events there? Oh, on the, yes, I think we're going to have some more concerts, maybe, but not like this, maybe in a month. We were a bit of busy the last year. So, but yeah, I think Piranha Lab is going to host some concerts soon. Oh, that's so exciting. I have a question. Okay. Um, I know this is a bit out there, but uh, I know that in some 3D software, uh, like you can use textures to define like the depth of a, of a plane. Uh, could you do that inside uh, 3GS using Hydra? You know, like having, if you have like a plane like this and you use Hydra to have certain parts of, of the mesh go towards you or, uh, or the country. Yes, uh, I that, that will be a, a good example. Yes, yeah, that could happen. You can have a mesh and you can move the, the dots of that mesh to modify it according to some certain values. We can have that from Hydra. I'm gonna check that. But yeah, that's possible. 
we've made that before. I think we have one hey. question from Ash. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I was wondering, uh, yeah, I threw it up in the chat before about how like this kind of reminds me a bit of um, some stuff that I've done with like uh, the area called complex dynamic systems. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's my question is going to be that, can you do anything where the player moves only upon the shader? The path where the path of the player camera is the shader. Have you tried scripting the path? Uh, like, are you using it as like an image texture or as like an embedded vector texture? For, uh, as high resource? Uh, yeah, like in Unity, because like you, uh, I'm wondering about like the. Um, um, when you apply a texture to an object, uh, if you're applying the texture as an image or as a vector. Uh, uh, I'm not touching that as an image. Mm. Uh, I think it, it's currently not like working. Like as a shader, basically. The, uh, the shader has some issues on on Hydra, I think, because there are some incompatibilities on 3AS and Hydra. Mm. I, I was looking at that, but I still have no progress on making shader materials. It looks all blank. So I think I have to check that later. And then I was curious about how like in Unity, the camera, you can like say that the camera is uh, on a surface, for example. Yes, that could happen in 3 Yes. And uh, so you if, have the a lot camera, of camera. if the camera can be traveling on the path of the shader surface, uh, like restriction, like not the, so that the camera is walking only on like the XY or the XZ plane, uh, but maybe the plane of the camera itself can be on that nonlinear like shader plane. That's what I'm curious about. Yes, 3 yes, cool. have actually a lot of cameras. Uh, you can also send the position of the cameras. But yeah, that could happen. Oh, well, thank you so much, um, Dorian. We'll <laughs> give like a quick round of applause. Or I know it's always this weird like silence on video chats, but if, if you want to unmute and give a quick round of applause or something, I always like to do that. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Yay. Yay. Thanks for your invitation.